everyone. How are you guys all today? So tonight I am making some ham and cheesy scalloped potatoes. And so one of the things I wanted to take a minute and show you guys is the new rapid prep mandolin. So this is how you store it. It stores super easy. Okay, so I'm just gonna take it apart and show you guys. On the back, you see two dials. So this is to select what style of cut you wanna do. So you wanna do a slice, you wanna do a French fry cut, or this here, sorry, this is the French fry cut. And over here is Julienne. And so these are different, uh, different sizes. And then this here is the thickness of your cut, the second wheel here. Okay, the other thing you're gonna notice is when we open it up, you're gonna see on the bottom, these suction cups, and these are absolutely a dream so that your mandolin prep is not sliding all over. So I'm just gonna turn you guys a little bit so you can see, okay? So here's one of the safety features is the, the handle locks down. So it's easy for storage and for safekeeping. And that blade is behind here. So there's no one cutting. So that we're bringing the blade down rather than bringing our hand over the blade as we would with a regular mandolin. So, and then this is your little catch-all. So I'm gonna show you guys, I'm just trying to figure out the best way to have this for you guys to see. So I've gone ahead and I've peeled my potatoes, which I forgot to press. Put the, uh, the chute and the plunger. Just trying to do this backwards here. Okay, so I'm kind of doing it a little bit backwards so that you guys can see. But what I wanna do is have it in like this and I'm literally, oh, I forgot to set. I want to make a slice. Okay. Okay, so you can see I'm getting, they might be a little thicker than I want them, so I'm gonna turn it down to a four. And I'm gonna do another one. You can see I'm literally just pushing this down and I'm getting all uniform cuts, so they're going to they're going to cook at the same time. So we'll just quickly go through our potatoes here. And then, so it is getting close to dinner time. And typically the our potatoes take quite a while to cook. Uh, usually about two to two and a half hours to cook. However, I'm going to use my quick cooker. one here okay so you guys can see in just a couple of minutes I have all of my potatoes cooked so I'm gonna set this aside and the great thing is all of this is gonna easily come apart and pop right into my dishwasher for easy cleaning okay and so the next thing I'm gonna bring you with me is the quick cooker okay so what i'm going to do is take i store my some of my accessories inside the quick cooker i'm gonna go ahead and get all my potatoes in here okay and then the next thing i'm going to do 
is, I should have brought it out, is just about a cup of water. So when you're using a pressure cooker, you always want to cook with water. So I'm gonna put just about a cup of water in here. And then I'm going to put my lid on, plug it in, and then I'm going to custom cook this. Okay, so I'm gonna custom time. I'm gonna turn it down. We only need about, about 10 minutes to cook our potatoes. Okay, and then I'm gonna press start. And so you can see the rectangle. I hope you guys can see that going around. And that is this pressurizing. So I'm gonna go ahead and take you out. So what I wanted to show you on the pressure cooker, the quick cooker here, is a couple of the safety features that Pampered Chef has built into their quick cooker that differentiate it from others that are on the market. So you can see here, this is the pressure button. And this button, when it is down, it is not pressurized. And you can open the lid, lift it up, and put it back on. When this pressure button comes up, that means the quick cooker is at pressure. And this lid has a safety feature built into it and it cannot, will not come off. So I know that there's been fear about cooking with a pressure cooker, but this machine has a safety feature built in that will protect you and your family. Um, another thing, so here is the pressure release valve. So when you're done cooking, and you need to release that pressure. Here's the button you press to make that happen. You can see the valve come up, okay? So when that happens, you can see your hand is nowhere near that valve, so you're not gonna risk uh, burning yourself when you're releasing that pressure, that steam. Um, one of my favorite things is the side, the coating and the cover. Um, this does not get hot to touch. So nobody in your house, your littles, your yourself, uh, anyone who happens to be in your house is not going to burn themselves by touching this because it does not get hot. And then the last thing I wanted to make sure I show you guys is the handles being at the bottom. So rather than as you have seen on some other uh, pressure cookers out there, uh, their handles are at the top. You run the risk of when you are moving it separating the top from the bottom and then risking a burn of some sort. Also, it's very cumbersome trying to carry uh, with the weight underneath of it. So this is just a really easy way. There's a handle on either side to make that happen. So you can see I've been playing around, so it's maybe not building up to pressure quite as quickly, but this is gonna build up to pressure and in about 10 minutes and then it's going to count down the 10 minutes that we set it for and then we will see what we're going to do so our potatoes are going to take about 20 minutes and then we'll get our cheese sauce made so we're back and i have drained the potatoes and now i've what i've done is i've changed the function on the quick cooker to sear which is literally an element that is right at the bottom here <clears throat> and I'm going ahead and making my cheese sauce right here which is pretty much done so I'm going to cancel it I will go ahead and get a scraper scrape your cheese sauce over top of your potatoes you've cooked and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put it under the broil function in the oven for just about five minutes. And it will brown the top up just a smidgen and supper will be ready. And while I'm doing that, or just before I do that, I will show you the rest of dinner which is coming out in our enamel coated cast iron baker. So here we are, ham,
scallop potatoes di dinner was done in under an hour. Thanks for watching.